I am Vince Solicito. I'm a practicing podiatrist here in St. Louis, Missouri. I graduated from podiatry school in 1979, and boy, there's been a whole lot that we've known about wounds since that particular time. I'm board certified in foot and ankle surgery as well as wound care, and I teach in a residency program uh, that teaches uh, surgery, etc., and wound care. The type of wounds that I see in my office are diabetic wounds, pressure wounds, venous stasis ulcers, and then the more exotic variety. I'm part of a wound care center where I've been a practicing clinician for over 12 years, where we see uh, a little bit more uh, aggressive type of wounds, such as ground recluse spider bites, people with chemotherapy, and now uh, with the number of patients being on uh, immunosuppressants such as Humira, et cetera, we're seeing wounds of that nature too. I think wound hygiene is not appreciated enough. I think when a patient comes into my office or the wound care center and they have a wound that's had a dressing on it, it's essentially a petri dish to begin with because we have our own normal bacterial flora, not to mention the type of bacteria that might be causing an infection or at least an increased bio burden in that wound. I happen to like this particular product that's called Safe Cleanse. So when the patient does come in, I use my first step of, of the of wound prep, if you will, is cleansing that wound with a safe cleanse. I'm aggressive as far as how I rub that wound. And being a surgeon, I believe in debridement. And I don't think debridement is emphasized enough either. There's a couple phases of debridement. Besides removing the bile burden and necrotic tissue, we also refashion that wound. And what I mean by that, I mean we are actually taking those wound edges, which is where the epithelium is going to be coming from, the keratinocytes, to migrate onto that normal dermis that we're trying to prepare. And by refashioning those margins, by using sharp debridement, creating some bleeding, not necessarily making it Hamburg meat by any means, but just to get a nice fresh wound. And then the most important thing to me is what am I gonna do with that wound? My goal is to close that wound, whether it's with a split thickness skin graft, whether it's basically by the secondary intention of a patient healing their wound themselves, or whether I'm using a bioengineered tissue such as an amnion, amnion chorion membrane, et cetera. So it's critical to me to prepare the best wound possible. And that's why I love the Convitec products, Aquasol AG Advantage, which you all probably have used the Aquasol Silver in the past, et cetera. This is, this is interesting because they've got this, this hydrofiber technology. And what it does is it actually locks in the drainage itself and prevents maceration of the wound. And Convitec has a thing where they call it the perfect partners with Aquacell foam. And the neat thing about Aquacell foam, even if you're not dealing with a, a venous stasis ulcer, which you know is, is, is exudative, but what the foam does, it also has hydrofiber in it. And it's a perfect partner with the Aquacell AG Advantage because it draws up that, 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 that exudate. More importantly though, we, we hear so much about silver. Well, silvers aren't created equal. And there's a whole lot of silver products that come out and say, we've got X number of molecules of silver versus the other product. What Convitec has shown is that there's an exact amount of silver where it becomes efficient and without causing any more harm. It's called ionic silver because as you know, there's nano silver too. But what this also has besides ionic silver, which is the antibiotic that kills the bacteria, is they've added a surfactant and a chelating agent. What that does is it breaks down bio burden. Okay, so if you think of bio burden as being this this polysaccharide shell covering an M&M. &M. We gotta get through that for the antibiotic to work. And so that is really what those two components, the chelating agent and the surfactant layer in that, or it's like, also like a detergent almost, that breaks down the bio burden, that allows the silver to kill. And we got all this exudate with all this bacteria sitting in it. That is where the, 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 the technology, this hydrofiber technology as they call it works because it draws that exudate away. And if you think about that, Anybody that's used an alginate dressing, it looks kind of like soupy on the top. Think of that foam now as drawing out that soup. And so to me personally, that someone that does pretty much a good deal of bioengineered tissue and split thickness skin grafting, I look at these two products as basically being my relief pitcher. The guy that comes in in the eighth inning, setting up the closer, which is my graft. That is how I approach it. That's why to me, it's a primary dressing. As you can see, these are highly exudative, um, so that we definitely want to use the Convamax to treat these. We have already measured the wounds. We did do the cultures, and he actually responded well. So we're going to, as you can see, remove the slough physically. Thank you. 
that. And then we're going to use sharp debridement. And if you do get a little bit of bleeding, that's okay. Control it with pressure. But it's really, really important to get rid of the necrotic tissue that houses the bacteria. And we wanna work on the edges too. So as far as the steps are concerned, you can see this slough, if you will, that we're removing and we're getting some nice capillary bleeding. The wound bed is already as a result of the previous treatment with the AAA, more viable than it was before. And there's less epiboly around the wound edges. And it's critical that you remove this tissue and work on the edges. Now, as you can see, this, this portion of the, the tissue is not coming off, that's okay. We, we got the majority of it and we scraped it. We're gonna clean it again. The idea is to get the majority of this off on venous stasis ulcers and not necessarily create Hamburg meat. Now we're going to cleanse the wound again with safe cleanse. And this is where the beauty of the AquaCell Advantage comes in as opposed to even the AquaCell in the past. And then again, you just try to overlap it. And it comes in various sizes, of course. I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything back there and I'm not. At this point, because these are highly Exitive, we're using the Convamax as opposed to the Aqua Cell Foam. And the beauty of this dressing is that it can stay on the foot for a longer period of time and it wicks out the fluid in a consistent way. That looks good in the back. Just make sure that there's no bumps and we just solidify it and then we can hold it down and wrap it right around. And then to finish this off, we're definitely going to want compression. And the compression is going to come from the, in the form of our sure press. We could use Una boots as well. We mentioned the Convamax as far as being a super absorber. I'd like to spend just a couple more minutes on that uh, and using it with the Aquasol Advantage or the, the AAA as it's called. The, the beauty, as we mentioned about the Aquasol AG Advantage is the hydrofiber technology, which actually absorbs or wicks that drainage away from the wound and kills the, ba the bacteria. It can be left on that wound for up to seven days actually. So in a wound that's really super exudative, like a venous stasis type ulcer, a patient with lymphedema, et cetera, as far as my perspective of a, a foot and ankle surgeon and someone that treats venous stasis ulcers, you know, there's some wounds that are more exudative than others. And especially like say over the past month, I have found with the COVID that we've had a different type of office protocol as far as trying to limit patients uh, in the office itself. Uh, but that still naturally seemed to have them. If they didn't have home health care and they didn't have people to change that dressing, we have been able then to use the Convamax, which is more of an absorber than actually the Aquacel foam. Uh, this is a one pad, if you will. It comes in various sizes. It's very soft. And, and what it does is it actually will wick that moisture away from the wound, away from the Aquacel uh, um, AG advantage, if you will. And therefore, under compression, it's not gonna squeeze back into the wound. So we're able to see these patients at a little bit longer uh, time span between them, depending on the amount of drainage they do have. Naturally, if they're super, super heavy duty, we would have to see them every three days. But I can tell you that I have had patients come in on a weekly basis as a result of the Convamax, where I have not, where I normally was trying to see them every three days. And it's, it's, very, it's very, very difficult to do so, therefore I do tend to uh, need the help of home healthcare nursing. And again, with COVID, that was limited as well. So I would have to say that that's been a blessing uh, for our patients is the this Convamax Super Absorber. <music>